So a while ago, I had something called the mouse melon or miniature watermelons. There's a or Mexican cucumber, and there's a few different names for it. And what this thing is, is like a teeny tiny little cucumber relative that looks kind of like if you took a watermelon and you shrunk it down to the size of a small grape. Uh, and there is actually some misinformation out there where people actually try to say that it is a watermelon. And there's like these dubious photos of people taking these tiny little watermelons and slicing it and it being like red on the inside, which is total BS. Anyway, uh, I have something really interesting today. It's a different species that is related to that. And this was sent to me by Alex. So Alex, thank you very much. This is something that uh, Alex said he foraged out in Maryland. And these look almost identical to the mouse melon, the one that I had before. If anything, is actually smaller. Like this is a melon for a smaller mouse. This is the melon for like a dwarf hamster, guys. It is uh, teeny tiny, and it's maybe a little bit more round, but otherwise looks exactly the same. And the fun thing with this is that these are picked unripe. I mean, so are cucumbers, and I'm assuming so are the other uh, relative of this that I had. Uh, but with these, when they ripen, they turn dark. They turn like a dark, like kind of like a black color. And if you eat them when they fully ripen, they will do horrible things to you. They are a very, very strong laxative. So, uh, yeah, if you want to try this one, uh, be careful, guys. Make sure you pick it when it looks like this, not when it looks dark. So, behind me right there is the Devil's Tower I'm in, uh, in Wyoming right now. That's a famous, famous site. A lot of history, really amazing. I haven't read the plaque yet, so I'm going to learn about it pretty soon. This has absolutely nothing to do with this video, but uh, it was running a little bit short, so I thought I'd put it in. It's pretty cool, right? That's beautiful. All right, back to the video. It's got a nice little pop to it. The flavor is nice. Nothing too crazy, though. It tastes like... Um, and almost exactly like the mouse melon that I had. Like a cucumber with like a little bit of sourness and not a lot. Like on the scale, it would be like a one out of 10, maybe a two out of 10 for sourness. They're a little bit sweet, but also like a one for sweetness. Uh, and that flavor is cucumber flavor. It's like cucumber, like watermelon rind, like you know what I'm talking about, that sort of taste. But what's cool about it is besides the size, it has a nice little pop to it. So I can see this being very popular for like mixology. Put this on one of those little plastic swords and throw that into a cocktail and you've got something really cool. Throw it into like a watermelon flavored cocktail and be like, what? There's like little baby watermelons in there. It'd be fun. This is like a fun thing to play with. Uh, eating it on its own is also totally fine. Um, I can see maybe putting them in like a, like a salad. Yeah, throw these whole into like a tomato salad or something, or use them like you would use a cucumber, but instead of having to slice it up, just throw in a handful. It's like the difference of using like a grape tomato instead of using like a whole tomato that you have to cut up. Something convenient, but also something kind of fun about it. So I think that's all I have to say about this one. Uh, thanks again to Alex for sending this to me, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. I would like to give a shout out to Smarter Every Day, AltPod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. If you haven't heard of it, Patreon.com is it's how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to keep this YouTube channel going. So if you haven't checked it out, please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale over my web store. A link to that is in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.